Hey guys, how you doing? How did you go? I just started. How was your night? Hope you had or are having an amazing and a beautiful day today. For those of you who don't know this, my name is Grace. I am currently tuned into Mobile Desk. Oh, wow! Happy New Month. My birthday just passed, so Happy New Year to me, I guess. But since the last podcast episode went up so many things have happened because like oh my god i'm actually losing my fucking mind so should we just stop on top i don't know if i mentioned it in the last episode this episode too by the way but i feel like i did anyway um quick disclaimer here um i don't even understand what i'm saying this is going through. so last week i'm going to touch on sickness but last week i can't like my body started teasing me with sickness so i was like okay you know what i'm gonna watch for a week so i watch for a week sunday reaches and i'm like you know what i'm just treat it i go there thinking i'm getting medication for something else and they're like you know what just do anti-malaria just to prevent the malaria so i take that as i start the medication now i'm having such tanklogram nose so just not long ago i had to go pick up more um drugs so they gave me antibacterial and um um pain relief so yeah so if my voice sounds weird or if you see me see, hear me sniffling just bear with me i'm fucking sick thank you <laughs> don't know i'm coming off like ugh. so i don't know if i mentioned the last episode but since i think like beginning of this year ending of last year for a while now like from day one i always knew i was going to reach this stage in my life where i was going to delve into artificial intelligence obviously i was not going to just jump in head first so i was like okay we're going to do it like slow and steady wins the race so i'm like all right let's start off with data science right so <laughs> starting off with data science um i'm using this course i think it was like a harvard course and mit course and the course like threw me to tears because what the fuck am i looking at the course that really linear regression Based linear regression is like a bit straightforward and stuff but like you know the way most of all these schools will just make their formulas unnecessarily confusing and most of the stuff i was using was like paper material i'm not a graphic learner i think i actually need to do a test on this because like i was chatting with my dad today and he actually kind of like teased it indirectly saying like i'm on the spectrum of autism because i'm i don't should I, should I get to that okay maybe we'll just touch that a bit like later but like when i'm learning things it's a bit hard so like i will say it when i was in school quite right like i did all like today i was just going through like my results and i was like i'm a fucking smart person like i'm actually very smart and i never took school seriously throughout my primary school i was always like first second third first second third i think i got like six ones just through junior secondary i was still a everything except for languages i was like french and evil that was Literally, I think my 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 I was always like fifty something, fifty something. Once I entered like sixty something, and my French was like for some for some for some for some. And so one where I actually got like a B in French. I was like, okay, per dropped French immediately after. Let's end it on a high note because I know if I go a step further, I might just continue failing again. But every other thing tr- I was doing well until then, I now actually decided like, okay, you know what? Because for me, young age, I think I've mentioned this once times. I always knew it was tech for me. There are no questions asked. What in tech am I going to do? I don't know. But I know it's going to be tech. So they were like, I don't know if I'll call it a mistake or not. But I just like ditched every other subject. It's like every single subject I was doing did not mean shit to me. The only subjects I cared about was my computer and my math i was obviously not re- reading computer because there's nothing they're teaching us computer in secondary school but my math i was like you know trying to read as much as i could i think like sure i'm not trying to brag here but i like just decided to ignore all the other courses and which surprisingly i was still doing well like i mean i wasn't like i got A's occasionally but like i wasn't seen them the way I knew I could because to me those subjects didn't exist they were just um, like placeholders but what am I going to say this okay so when I'm when I'm like in class environment I don't learn well in the class environment because my brain feels gets I don't know if the word is like I'm easily I'm not uh, I'm under stimulated is that what I'm trying to look for I don't know if that's what I'm trying to look for my brain gets bored easily so 
if i'm supposed to just like sit down in the class and listen to someone talk or like write an exam my brain starts wondering immediately and there was like an issue like i had especially when writing exams because i cannot be like talking around or like fiddling or finding things to like create distra- distractions or something so my brain gets bored this language will now lead me to blank you know so why and i said luckily like i guess i don't know what hot wish was i could easily process things in my head faster i guess so it, like anyone who has ever known me even up to uni if i enter the exam hall i'm out almost immediately because i know if i stay there any longer i'm going to just blank out <laughs> and if i've not covered everything on my paper i'm not going to cover any other thing so my brain just gets easily understimulated which makes it hard learning like, class environment and throughout the time growing up especially growing up in a place like nigeria there was really no way to address it i mean it will i would just be half seen as like an anxious person listening to music while reading is very anxious like you're yeah, just deceiving yourself in here in nigeria so i just had to like just find a way to make it work and it was so hard so frustrating but what led me to this <laughs> what led me to make this up so yeah so i'm i'm not i'm not like i cannot i love reading novels but when it comes to reading novels novels forces me to use my imagination so my brain isn't idle but i'm not going to be imagining from in my head because i could have forgotten using them. so when i was um learning the data science course from harvard it was just it was so hard i just felt discouraged so i didn't ever want to go on with it i was like okay let's do data analysis data analysis should be easier than data science false i mean it is yes but like it's not so and and i said okay i'm not going to use all these lectures unless the lecture has like a steady flow of videos but after a while i was not, like after solving like different courses that was on the internet different tutorials and stuff i was able to generate my own um roadmap per se that would like guide me on things i need to cover but i don't know why like because now i don't know if i went like if i'm what do you call it when like something like you thought something was something but it's not do it was like you know all this i say oh this dog had a black tail like i always remember the dog having a black tail but now the dog is having a blue tail or some what do you call all those stuff i don't know but like, i was going through something like that so when i was going through like the roadmap there are so many things that i skipped that now that i'm going back to the roadmap i there on the roadmap for example sql um this um a visualization tool okay i think there's all <laughs> i think there's all those are the two things but i skipped those two things which i'm obviously going to go back later i was saying like them just interject but i'm like you know what i'm already in a mood right now so i'm just going to stick to that mood i will visit this after but um, yeah so i create this and i'm using it i do the whole excel stuff learned excel and i said luckily i'm already a python developer so i did not need to learn python and most of these models i was already a little bit familiar with them so we did um numpy pandas matplot um oh shit i'm blacking out seaborn seaborn i've never used before but seaborn is like isn't that to me it feels just like kind of like an extension of matplot and lib pyplot um whatever and then we did psychic lane my grand nemesis this psychic lane oh god only like, like even for the strength of god this would be my turn for because what the actual fuck well so i finished learning all those other stuff refresh my memory it's going well like see because i like i had barely even spent like two weeks on this stuff so i'm like on fire i'm like okay you know what like i'm actually feeling this data analysis slash data science stuff like i'm feeling good i'm so happy i'm like all right next step like how hard could this be i'm like okay by the end of this week i should have like some sort of project ready bruh this is week two i finally have something up i'm like what do you have to work <laughs> i feel like is this stuff that is keeping me this stuff so, i mean i'm just conversing like I don't even know what time of day I because throughout the day I, I'm awake, either working on projects or reading something or just doing something. Then I'm awake till like two, four, sometimes six, depending. Never have I ever 
felt exhausted and does nothing in the afternoon. I started learning this psychic learn. Tell me why I will write two lines on the paper or I'll write a few lines of code and I'm finding myself waking up. When did I go to sleep? Bruh, the sun is still out. It's early in the morning. You just started. You just turned your system off. Why the fuck are you waking up? Oh gosh. Well, I mean, yesterday I was really happy. Yesterday. It was actually yesterday I completed my first two projects. So I was really happy. I was in a good mood yesterday. I treated myself. And um, now I'm seeing a good mood because I'm taking it a step further. So one issue I actually came across was like finding a good tutorial for this stuff was a little bit hard. But I came across this free code camp tutorial, which was what I used yesterday. Loved it. Then downloaded some textbooks, which if you guys want me to link them, let me know. I'll link all the textbooks so you can download them for free. But I found some textbooks that actually helped me. And... Um, I love this so I'm um, actually once I have mastered it to an it's a level. So I was actually thinking of two things. You guys can let me know which one you prefer. One, I would either do like journey with me so as I'm learning I'm teaching, which I feel you guys can go through like the train of thoughts that I'll be going through my mother was learning something new or different sources I was using, what I found a bit confusing, stuff like that or I'll finish learning everything and I will drop a photo trial, which that will just be a straight up tutorial, which at this point it may not really be beginner friendly considering the fact that I am no longer a beginner since I'm also not just learning psychic learning, I'm merging it with so many other things so it may be a bit bulkier. But um then again you can just let me know which you'd prefer. If I'm doing the once I'm done learning everything, it will just be full video. If you want to do this journey with me, it will be a series, it will be short clips of videos just every day you can end each day learning a new concept or whatever but yeah so i downloaded this book i start um going about learning the second and then i must say i mean it's one thing i feel is just the issue with second is it's so bulky and the resources are limited because I feel if you have more resources and more documentation, like even ChatGPT too, when I thought ChatGPT is like give me like an introductory whatever, whatever, whatever of psychic learn, ChatGPT don't does a heavy request. So I was like, okay, per no one um, enjoy. But I mean, hard work, I guess. So I just like I just actually has to be work because I was having like this pounding headache as if my head would it, like fall out and i would like take panadol i would take panadol like in the day i'm like just taking panadol as if it's candy and uh, i got in medication now so they gave me antibacterial give me that pink pain relief stuff and i mean it's helping a bit so uh, i hate drugs the drugs disgust me like i said i want to throw up so i'm not even going to take it again if i fall sick i fall sick but like, I feel now I'm actually like generating like a fear for sickness. I'm EE, so as an EE, like malaria is kind of like your big threat. But I barely like okay. So when I was younger, fall sick as if the pain it fall sick. I would my temperature could boil. Like if I if I'm lying down somewhere and I stand up, that place would be hot. We'll go to the pharmacy and I'll just be because I don't know why my sickness always kicks in like after 10 in the night after 11 so my dad would just be come back from work praises on the big chair on the big couch lying down as if she's about to die so do not put me in the back seat of the car my dad would drive to the pharmacy take me to the pharmacy to give me injection because growing up i did not take pills give me injection i will fall to the floor and i'll just start training up that is like most of the memory i have of me from the second of the car. then after i reached like my senior secondary uni like i didn't fall sick again. I said my body forgot how to fall sick. And then Karma just decided to be fucking bitch and just strike when I was writing my finals exams. I was like, no, no. <laughs> God. I remember like one of the exams that actually put fear in my heart. Like I was surprised. Like funny enough, this was the highest like of my CGP had ever been. This was my highest CGP. I was like, okay. Like if I if this was all I needed, I should fall sick more. But so I was like this the, la- the very last period which was a day of my sign off. Sorry. Um our paper was delayed that day. So I'm like sitting in class, I'm like, okay, so let me just jump my memory. 
I don't know, I've tried to remember the course, but I can't really remember the course. I remember the lecture, I can't remember the course, I can't remember what the course was about either. But I had like in my notes, and I'm trying to like jog my memory, trying to read a bit. Nothing is entering, I'm not even seeing words on the paper. So I'm like, okay, you know what? No, I can't do this. I just close it, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to lay and just rest. So one well, of my friends was like, oh, we're in the same time, so like, everyone just come check up. He's like, okay, I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. The, um, I was the president, so that they are calling me like having issues, like, oh, your people have not done this. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sick. I don't know, I don't know. Hush. But since I, I don't know why, but I was just trying to like pretend like I wasn't sick. So I'm standing outside, just trying to like lean on the wall slightly and like talking with this lecturer, trying to like be finally enter inside the hall. I'm seated, exam doesn't start, so I just lay my head down exams not starting exams not starting it hits me so i just i don't want to run out i don't want to walk away briskly so i just stand up take my time go to the back of the class and i just throw up and i just wash my face like that it was horrible so after i finish i just come up the whole i just i finish actually like i don't even remember if i was anything the exam apparently i did <laughs> apparently i did i guess because I finished writing everything and I just did the class immediately and th- I don't know why they want to start doing so like if like a certain amount of time has not passed you could you couldn't submit like uh, isn't that some secondary school shit I'm in uni if I know want to submit an empty sheet allow me to submit an empty sheet but finally submit I'm like okay let me go back to the hostel the hostel is too fucking far so I just sit in the class every my friends like finish they all come everyone is saying oh my god please not come and do this and I'm like I cannot stand up so like few people like the new house they just keep signing on my shirt and then someone like drove me to the hostel area then my friend is cutting me to the room the worst sickness of my life so like now i just have like this horrible memory <laughs> and like this horrible fear of malia so personally i hate medication don't want to take medication because even at that point the drugs that they gave me i will not stop taking it so i had to like actually restart my whole treatment but this time with injection but um yeah hopefully that's not what's happening now I cannot fall sick my i'm vexed actually yeah speaking of like horrible things that happened i mean like, like i don't even know i don't even know if i should be vexed. i don't even know how to feel about this before i left school so i went february to do was it february what the fuck am I doing? I went to do my clearance, right? So I finished the whole clearance stuff. Go and meet your man. Your like, okay, yeah, my name is going to come out in batch. I'm like, with her, are you sure? She's going like, she's just in chat. And I'm like, just burn through everything because I need my name to come out in this next batch. Um, I come, we are waiting, we are waiting, nothing, nothing, nothing. Other school starts releasing their list. Um, other schools names are coming up on the site nothing for my school one morning uh, um, coach rep called me and was like how far does she say this out can you check and I'm like I go and check only 10 names from my department his name was in there my name wasn't so I'm just feeling up tough enough because like my sister is saying like you know what's calm like some people's names will not even come out until like later and later and later and later like, like maybe a few days for the leave for camp so I'm like oh, I'm not stressing every morning I'm waking up refreshing not coming out I'm t- calling her. She's saying that she wait for next batch. So eventually, I'm like, oh, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Cause imagine I had to like start prepping for camp now, while dealing with this special learning stuff. So I'm like looking at the positive side of everything. So I'm not trying to like think too much on it. So I'm just making the most out of it. The like the machine learning, this uh, psychic line is still like I still feel like I don't know shit about it. Like I've written codes in it. I understood the code while I was writing it, but like it did not stick in my head. So I'm just working on like as I'm as be, as I, I was about to start working on a new project while well, I stay before I started doing this podcast. Um, so I have just um, I'm doing like the exploratory data analysis. I'm using like one of these data sets I found on Kago. Is it Kago? Kago. Kago. How do you pronounce it? In other ways, um, I'm using that. I'm using. I'm just working through it. I have like so many different tutorials. So it's like this is the most I've ever put to learn in my life. Oh my god, I'm going to kill myself if I don't like this thing very well. Because like I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
so like every tutorial is starting like just no there's no one that's actually starting from the beginning i'm just being thrown into like a tornado and i'm trying to like find something stable to hold on so that even while it's spinning at least i'm not just floating around and hitting things i just want to be shielded and covered but it's so hard because it's almost impossible luckily like i have a very good support system like one of my search friends is, like really helping me through my journey so i'm really grateful for that and um yeah <laughs> still fucking hard though i like okay so i was like okay let's so do this like course i found at least it's some math stuff and it's gonna learn and I, i'm trying to go back to learn all this math stuff i was like okay i mean i have peace understanding and like one person say okay that is all you know i was like that is not enough and i'm fully sure next year she's trying like a formula that i've never seen in my fucking life before like can you simplify that but she's like pointing out then now i run the analysis stuff and they're pointing out like oh this is what this means and i'm like i've never heard that before can we go back and i've tried to like find out that data like other tutorials that like explain just that section and no one is talking about it you're just streaming to another one and i'm not trying to play racist here but most of the sources this the um, tutorials that i feel may be good are indians and their accents are strong so and for some reason because it's always indian to try to use before but for some reasons the ones that I decided to do the skill and i find it hard to hear what they're saying so i'll be following this show and they'll say something that i would think i heard what they said or if i'm not trying like go to another place and now i'm getting confused because i felt like oh, it's just i need a break i just need a break but we don't give up no matter what we strive we go harder and harder until we make it that is the motto <laughs> go harder till you make it oh god i'll just kill myself if this doesn't work out not really though but i mean like w what would i do if this doesn't work out like i don't know i just i'm always thinking about this because i I mean, sometimes I'm like, okay, is it good thing, right? Like, you found out what you wanted to do from an early age, you started working towards it. But then it just makes me feel dumb because I'll be like, hearing other people's like, story, I'm like, oh, I just started 2020 or I just started 2019. And I'm like, bitch, fuck you. But then again, I'm like, quite right, yes, I knew what I wanted to do from an early age. But what I did based on the resources, I actually had to start learning those things. Technically, my journey started like 2021, right? So I shouldn't be seeing the major side for them, but I'm like, I mean, I was, I had paper and pen, so my journey did start before then. But then again, like, I was like just, like free, like, I don't know, I was just eyeballing everything throughout. Oh god. And then like, there's the whole thing of like everyone going to tech now, the tech market's getting saturated, and then there are the people are saying, oh no, it's not getting saturated. And I'm like, shit. Oh my god. So Thursday, this Thursday that just passed. So I'm um, I like I play I apply for like different jobs on different different places. So I've been applying for like jobs for like years. LinkedIn, Indeed, so on and so forth. So this does they get a call back. Like they message me like, Oh wow, we are impressed by your work, your service, whatever, whatever. This how much we're paying, just so you know, like write back to us and let us know if you'll be interested for like a actual interview, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, I use ChatGPT and generate a professional response, and I sent to them because I don't know how to write professionally. It's nobody, and I I didn't get it. It's like I've not heard back from them. They just got my hopes high. Like I feel if you're not sure that you're going to do the interview, just don't, please. Also happy that Thursday because it's like it's the first time in my life that professionally that is happening to me. Any other project I've got because it was for, it wasn't for data science obviously. It was for like back end development any job i've gotten relating to back-end development web isn't like oh um my i know my my friend praise designs this stuff do you want her to so i've never actually had the experience doing thing like this professionally so like when i got at work i was so happy and then they don't give out to me again i'm like bitch oh god it's all good it's all good i'm still young right right <laughs> oh shit sometimes i feel like i'm like the dumbest person in the tech it's fair it's how you call it like from all the developers out there i feel like i'm the dumbest developer because like okay i'll be chatting with people and be like oh wow like i'm so proud of you and i'm like bitch i'm not you're just saying that you're just speaking words because like 
see what this person did i he let's think like one of the great one like the i feel like one teenage developer should have like according to everybody is like problem solving how the fuck am i supposed to think of a solve a problem when i cannot even generate a problem i feel like it's been that issue like i'm having data science stuff because like when i'm very data science you're supposed to come like um i don't know how to put it like figure out questions you'd want to answer with that data set or something like that. i don't know if that's good to explain it but it's supposed to like figure out a question you want to answer i'm just saying text and numbers i don't know what question you want to answer how many characters are there i don't know i don't know so did i make a mistake hmm. that's a very dangerous question to be asking after four years in the uni asking that question not to go oh good oh god let's not how was your Easter? Mine was okay. When was Easter? Last Sunday was no Easter. Okay, I think Easter was when they celebrated my baby in church. Yeah. Yeah. Easter was okay. It was alright. It was cool. Nothing special. I was trying to learn in psyche to learn. <laughs> No, excuse. I think it was also, like if you want to feel dumb, just go and learn machine learning. But I mean, I've made progress, right? This this less progress I've ever made in my life, but it's still progress, so it's a good thing. After this, I'm supposed to not go into. I remember once upon a time, I almost learned SQL. Did not like it, so I left it. Almost learned R, but the installation process was unnecessary, so I left it. <laughs> But when do you think do this? Hmm. What's your tech journey? Are you just entering tech? Did you, were you wanting tech and did you quit? If so, why? How long have you been? Why haven't you quit yet? If you ha- we are not the best no quit, I don't know. Just let me know how your tech journey is going. I mean, it can't be all that bad because I mean, people are still doing it. I mean, no matter what, after everything, that's still what I want to do. So I like it. So I guess that's something, right? They say, which bitch would you prefer doing what you love and barely making a living salary from it or making like getting paid crazily but like working in a job that you don't really like? Which would you prefer? Comment below, let me know. Me personally, I don't know. And that question comes up, I'm always like, check. Oh well, my job is something like that. Like this, like there's no with the job I have, there's no job that I can post me. But if it's one like I think like actually, actually, I don't know. Don't know. I guess to that time comes me personally. I don't like no matter how much I love something, I feel like just based on common sense. I was just out to the trash it job for a while make enough money and quit right i feel like that's the best answer mm. my headache is coming back so i need to kind of rest need to prep dinner the dinner i'm making prep one i don't like so i don't know i'm going to this night i think i've not been eating very healthy recently it's not good let's eat healthy this was never healthy i'll probably be eating like i don't know why i would think i'm like hungry like i know i'm hungry but like when times like actually eat like chewing is stressful <laughs> oh god chewing food is very very stressful like we need to automate the chewing <laughs> oh my god i just solved a problem or at least i just thought of a problem that can be solved bravo brava we need to automate the chewing process <laughs> Because chewing food is so stressful. Yesterday I took food, I started eating it, I realized that chewing was so hot, so I just went back and dropped it. But so good. Do you know what I'm craving right now? Toblerone, the white one. Yeah. It's the brown one that is easier to find, I don't know why. Oh my god, oh my god, when I was younger, I don't know why, up to like for how many years now, I've been trying to remember what this candy is. 
so you can find it but i would never forget the feel so when i was younger this was like one candle i was almost always buying unless i was in the year and i would finish universe because nobody seems to know it so the first one before dinner started making other renditions of it the first one was like it was long it's name long pink and white it was almost like cutting candy but the cutting candy was jelly like gel but like cutting candy we held it around to be covered in powder but the side well, the round was now coated extremely sugary and sour at the same time it was dry but like marshmallow then after the last time we came like the ones that were just normal my shapes not those long slimy ones i had to learn how to explain that but, like in my head and like since i'm remembering the taste oh gosh I need to find that candy. I feel because all of a sudden we just stopped buying it. I think like they discontinued this. But that is the best candy to ever exist. Anyways, happy April. April, May, June. I still have a long way to go. I wish me good luck. And I'll see you guys whenever. Ash, phone's so bright. I'll see you guys whenever I make another episode episode day ha uh-huh. 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 follow me on all platforms instagram at underscore dot underscore p r a i z tiktok at mobile dot dex that's m o b i l e dot d e s k m o b i l e full stop d e s k i'm on youtube at chibudom or bar c c h i b u d o m so that's where we can spell my name C H I B U D O F space O P A S I and um well what else did you guys do to know? That's all. If you have anything you want to cover, let me know. If you want me to do it to swear on the shit, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, surprise, comment and have a beautiful and an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.